Welcome to Hump Day. It's Wednesday. Yeah, that's right, it's Wednesday. Uh, yeah, got distracted a little bit with the pickup and stuff. I need to get that floor painted. I went over there the other night, put a second coat down on that area I've done so now I can move stuff onto the painted area and paint the rest of it. Um, planning a trip to my dad's this weekend. I don't know if it will come off or not. Um, if it does, we get a big old update of what he's been up to. If you follow me on Facebook, um, you see that he's been cracking on with it. And these retired people spend so much time in the garage. Uh, so yeah, so that'd be good. Um, so that'd be next week. So as I said the other week, I was planning on getting this done. Um, we're a little bit behind, as always. Uh, but what I want to do is repair my dodgy rear quarter repair that I've done. Um, because you know what I'm like, I always like to show you my mistakes. Um, and then we're not far off then thinking about sealing this car. Um, I'm just going to use a gun to seal it, you know, the old sealant gun. Some people like the old brush on stuff, some people prefer that, it's more classic looking. I, uh, I don't know, something I quite like, the seam sealant look, the, 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 the tube look, but personal preference, horses for courses, um, purists will go for whatever they did in the factory. Um, but anyway, I never worked in the factory, so I can do what I want. So yeah, we get this car rolled over because it's on the other quarter um, and uh, I'll explain the issue. Okay, I can now show you the problem. Oh, look at those ones I've got down there. I was uh, being really silly when I was painting. The key thing was for it not to bust. That's all right, I've got my DA along on that. So, the problem we got is I repaired this paddle, I put this quarter in when it was upside down, so I didn't even see this wheel. Uh, so now, once I turn it all back round, I can see basically I've dipped it in. So there's a dip here. It's um, you can sort of see where it's, just, it's not straight along the sill. So what I want to try and do is drill out the spot where it's from underneath, or from the top. I don't know which. And so I release this section here, sort of six inches. Then I can get inside and just push it out, re-clamp it, and just re. I'll just plug one from underneath with a through the where I've drilled the holes. And I should should do it. In process, that's simple. In practice, that's another thing. I don't know if this video is gonna show it. But yeah, you see that? See the gap that I fecked up? Which is not bad because at least it's a it's an innie, not an outie. Uh, but obviously that would require that much filler to try and uh to fix. Um, so you can see that sort of line along there, you can see it's blowing in, look, you can see, yeah. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, drilled them out, split most of them. Um, I might go a bit further, we'll see. We'll see how it lines up. Uh, yeah, obviously I might have looked like a butcher there, eating it with ammo and screwdriver. But honestly, I'm a surgeon. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm sure I'm gonna get a few dislikes for this uh, this repair. But anyway, all my fans love me anyway. So like, yeah, let's do it. So anyway, um, let's see if we can get inside and push it out a little bit. I don't think I've got room for any sort of jack in there or anything, so we're just going to have to try and leave it the best we can and um, with a bit of block in there or something and uh, see how we can push it out. Push it out.
So, sorry about the car that you can hear just sticking around, ticking over there. Lady's waiting to go to the gym, so, or five o'clock, so you don't have to pay for a parking permit. And she'll just sit there with the aircon on and the diesel running. So, yeah, there you go, look, already got a lot better. Um, I think I could do with pulling the top bit out a bit, but I think I could do that a bit more once. I've got a couple of worlds on the bottom. So, I don't think I'm going to go too perfect. I think I'm still going to, it's always going to need filler this sort of area. So, I think we'll do our best. Um, as you can see now, it's lined much better up. And that'll save a ton of filler. We're going to have a still a bit in there. But this is what it is. Um, could have done a rear quarter, could have done a better repair, I suppose. But hey, where's the fun in that? here but that's where we cut higher so we can maybe just tap it from the back there uh, but yeah pretty good all right let's get some welds on that and um, what I'll do is I'll just get the um, hammer and dolly and uh, clean that up a bit first flatten it off Well, after all that, I'm not too sure if I've made it any better, but I definitely think that is a little dip there. It pulled in a little bit, but I'm happy with that because it just means a hell of a lot less filler. So, yeah, I'm not good. What I should have done was joggled it um, or just welded it better. Um, but that should be that should be all right. A bit of filler in there. It's just going to have to be, in it? Um, the next person that's going to restore this properly can... Uh, Fit a new quarter. So yeah, that's not too bad. That'll do. I'm sure that'll get a few dislikes. Uh, but I'm not bothered. And none of you are, are you? So anyway, all good. Um, let me just show you the, the uh, inside in a minute of where I welded the other day. As you can see, you can see the areas there and the big triangle there that we had to weld in. Uh, so what we just need to do is just grind them off a little bit this side so it's a little bit of a nicer finish this side. Not that it really matters because it's actually under the seat. But hey, if somebody do wanted to uh, rally at something like that, at least they can take the uh, seats out and it's not going to look too bad. So what we do, grind them off, flash a bit of primer on them. And uh, that'll all be good. So I think we're nearly there. Um, I've just got a couple more rolls just to do in the uh, box section, which I should have done before. And uh, yeah. I think we're ready for um, seam sealing. So shout out if you think you've missed anything. Uh, because you guys sometimes uh, have eagle eyes better than I do. Otherwise, I think we're going to go for seam sealing. Uh, I've got to just do a bit up there as well. But, uh, yeah. So uh, if I go to my dad's at the weekend, mostly won't get any seam sealing done. Uh, but it'll be the first thing I do when I get back. If I don't go to my dad's, uh, well, let's try and get the seam sealing done, all the stuff finished, and maybe um, I think we should be able to attempt to try and uh, stone guard the underside. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed on that. So, anyway, uh, a bit of a short video for today, but I've been a manic week with my cold and work. Um, I thought I'd get more time and I didn't. Uh, life old story. Um, Sophia has needed its clutch done, so my pink mate's doing that for me which I should do myself really, but it's a case of, well, I don't want to spend four hours, five hours trying to figure out how to change a clutch on a Sophia, which I don't think is impossible. Uh, but, oh, I'll just work on this and pay my mate to do it instead. So that's what I've done. So yeah, cheers, Pete. Uh, and we've ordered up a few panels for my dad. Uh, so the plan is to maybe take the front end up to him, that I've got the spare front end that I originally bought for this, if you remember it. 
um, because he wants to try and sort of get the front wings on so he can help align all the A panels and I think just to double check what he's done. Uh, yeah, all good. So have a good Wednesday. Um, I've got chicken casserole cooking, which I now need to go put the dumplings in. So bye bye um, and thanks for all the support still. Gas levels, Mark. <laughs>